the school scientist and due to, due to our success and popularity from last year's fireworks experiment today we're going to build <coughs> an improved version of last year's experiment um, by sending them higher so more people can see them at night this is why we're going to build our own fireworks automatic intelligent launcher also known as wait a minute who came up with that name he did, sir! Cheers! <laughs> okay, so this is our, <laughs> our materials and give us a minute so this we can set them up. This is the plan of our cannon. And this is the real thing. The cannon itself is right now unassembled as I guide you through its components. Here, we have an air pump which pumps air through this hose and the hose itself is going to be connected to this whole white thing which is going to be our air tank. The air tank itself is connected to a series of connectors leading to the sprinkler valve which blocks the air from the air tank to go through the rest of the barrel. Here we have a pressure gauge. The pressure gauge measures the air pressure inside the air tank and we'll be expecting a pressure of 60 psi. Before explode. Once the desired psi is reached, we can then load our ammunition inside this barrel which is itself can also connected to the sprinkler valve. Once ready to launch, we're going to turn on the sprinkler valve, which release all the air inside the air tank through the sprinkler valve into the barrel and projecting our ammunition. We are back and we are going to assemble our air cannon. Now that we that we that we uh, constructed the, the the air cannon, now we're going to test it before we paint it. So first, as you can see, you can see PVC proof uh, card wooden board that will protect the guy uh, using the the pump, just in case the air tank explodes. Then, during the real experiment, we will have. Uh, 23 shells <laughs> of this size that, that can shoot up to 30 meters and one shell of this size 
that can shoot up to uh, 20, uh, 35 meters. And this one, we have like three, three of them. And finally, the, the big ones, we have 12 of them. Okay, and as you can see, over there, we have a battery controlled uh, switch. switch to open the, the valve and it is placed at a, at a safe distance of 5.2 meters. Now, let, let us begin the test. One. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> wow, good job. Okay? Ready? Three, two, one, go! 